गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट एंड दैट इज द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दी चैप्टर मीन्स एग्रीकल्चर फूड इज एसेंशियल फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ ऑल ह्यूमन बींग्स सो एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट रेफर्स टू एफर्ट्स मेड टू इंक्रीज फार्म प्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्डर टू मेट द ग्रोइंग डिमांड ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग पॉपुलेशन दिस कैन बी अचीव इन मेनी वेज मीन्स वी कैन इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन इन मेनी वेज सच इज इंक्रीजिंग द क्रॉप एरिया द नंबर ऑफ क्रॉप्स ग्रोन इम्प्रूविंग इरीगेशन फैसिलिटीज or use of fertilizers and high yield variety of seeds so the ultimate aim of agriculture development is to increase food security now some countries have developed genetically modified crops through biotechnology biotechnology involves the use of living organisms and bioprocess and engineering technology medicines etc it also covers genetic engineering cell and tissue culture technologies manufactures of drugs environment environmental management etc so what are the benefits or advantages of using biotechnology so many benefits are there first the high yield is produced by introducing foreign genes from the different species means with the help of biotechnology the higher yield is produced next advantage is it has more nutritional value better flavor and color in the food scientists believed that genetically modified crops can help the environment by reducing the problem of pesticides also so these are the benefits or advantages of using biotechnology but some critics of biotechnology said that the adverse effects of genetically modified crops on environment that is a criticizement of biotechnology my dear students in developing countries manual labor is used for most of the agriculture activities like india whereas developed country like usa agriculture is highly mechanized most of the population of the developing countries is engaged in agriculture and its allied activities means main occupation of the people of developing countries is agriculture and its allied occupations however the ratio of population in agriculture in minimum in developed countries like canada and usa now we have completed the chapter chapter number 5 agriculture thank you and have a nice day